Yeah, I had to do it. I had to get in here. I, I, I didn't think I was going to have to fire up the mic and talk about this, but yo, what a freaking promo by The Rock. Yo, wow. I didn't know that he still had this in him. He's been back as a babyface so many times with all of the little signature phrases and one-liners and pretty much all of the stuff that they try to give Roman back when y'all hated Roman. <laughs> all the little skits, my little nursery rhymes and all of that. Uh-uh, get all of it out of here. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. This, this, this rock that came back tonight, oh, man. I didn't intro the video or nothing. We we just get straight into it. Because that rock <laughs> they gave him a Versace vest. <laughs> he couldn't even find a shirt for this guy. Yo, what we got from the rock was an absolute clinic of promo tree. That was absolutely beautiful heel work. Because he didn't want to leave any redeeming qualities. And the problem is, oh, he still had the crowd in the palm of his hands. They couldn't help themselves. This was beautiful. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. So I have to talk about my thoughts on this. And currently, where I can see it going Who's it help? Who it doesn't help? Let me tell you this right now. This does not help Cody at all. <laughs> this doesn't help. This don't help Cody. This don't help Cody fans. This does not help anybody that wants Cody. What is Cody supposed to do after this? What is Cody supposed to get on the mic and say after what just happened tonight? <laughs> I can't. Like, all right. For anybody that enjoys real promo work, and Cody's pretty good on the mic, what is Cody going to follow this with? How is he going to be able to captivate the crowd the way The Rock... I didn't think The Rock still had it in him. And I said this before, it's in the previous video, that Rock coming back with Gewartz was... That was like Jordan and Pippen. Him coming back with him... The guy that did his promo work back during the Rock days, his prime days, him bringing him back was pristine. That was what you needed. That's what's been missing all these years when he kept giving us these nursery rhyme promos. And this was a work of art. Doesn't help Cody at all because you can't follow it. And there was nothing for Roman to say. They didn't even. And that's the other thing right there. Roman. Now, does it hurt Roman? I don't think it hurts Roman because what what they have to do next is they have to start doing stuff with them together. I like that they used Roman as a setup guy for the rock, but I don't I wouldn't like it if they keep going in that direction. So, for example, at the uh, the presser, the WrestleMania kickoff event, it felt like Roman was secondary, right? Now, granted, I understand that you're trying to introduce The Rock to the storyline, and they're using Roman as a way to do that. And I believe, and I, I should make a video out of this. Let me know in the comment section if you guys need this. Just put the word NEED in all caps. But I, I, I do believe that they're using this particular setup to branch off, these are like little pebbles, to branch off into how Roman and The Rock are going to start their storyline going into the next WrestleMania. Because they're planting seeds here of this whole Roman feeling secondary. I think that this is being done on purpose. This is, per I really feel like this is purposely being done. Because you don't, like, with all of the equity that Roman has built up over these years as champion, years as champion, he comes out feeling small next to Rock, and then tonight we used Roman to pretty much introduce the Rock, and then we just get this lambasting of a promo, of a heel promo, of a Hollywood heel promo 
from the rock that no one can follow no one's following that now i want you to imagine right for anybody for anybody under the age of ah, 25 i want you to i want you to put yourself in this mindset rock cut that promo tonight right and right now i'm saying nobody's following that now imagine you got stone cold that actually follows it and them two just going back and forth completely on par with one another and we got to live through that on a weekly basis what you guys got tonight was only half of the puzzle we got the other half and we lived through that consistently it was that's what that's what when people try to explain how the attitude era felt when it comes to promos y'all got half the pie imagine the other half that could actually keep up with that like it was nothing and they just go oh, it was, oh. but yeah that roman thing i want to say i don't like it but i do believe that they're they're planting seeds on what's going to happen in the future there was a line in there that the rock use where he said uh where he said is i'm gonna do everything in my power to make sure that cody walks out a loser i honestly believe in my soul this is all jacob fatu references i think that rock is going to use because everybody is saying remember the whole the whole thing with jacob fatu to get into WWE is they put out the the whole line of not WWE but the internet put out the whole line of and Booker as well Booker is saying I'm going to try everything in my power to get Jacob Fatu into WWE well what if Booker doesn't have that power what if it takes somebody of higher power and this isn't a reference to Vince McMahon versus God but a higher power Rock okay book you can't get him in here rock can use his power and influence to get jacob fatu in here because i don't see jay coming around for the bloodline rock's there jimmy's all happy solos there <laughs> i guess I'm, I'm not a solo guy at all i'm i'm just not but jacob fatu's the one because if jay gets jimmy man okay i'm trying to think of how this can go you got seth who's going to i guess hold and keep rock out the way you got jay that's going to keep jimmy out the way maybe jay keep jimmy and solo out the way and then you have okay it looks like all is well and done and taken care of and here comes jacob fatu to completely very yo code yo i yo if cody wins at wrestlemania i'm going to become an aew stand i'm gonna start covering aew i'm gonna be a fan I, yo i i'm doing aew streams mark my words i'm gonna be an aew fanboy if cody walks out and this isn't a dislike for cody or anything like that Rock says something that I've been saying for a year now. What is Cody's story? What is it? This is his father's story. This isn't his story. Cody, what do you want? What about you? What do you want? You get the title and then what? Is it over because you finished the story or whoever story that is? What is Cody's story? What is his purpose? What is his point? Is his point something about his father and rock laid it out there and that makes so much sense i loved it i loved it i loved it um i'm heavily in favor of roman retaining at mania they are stacking everything against cody and you know normally you could say all right superman wins but man i i don't see it i <laughs> don't see yo when they all put their ones up this was like the avengers forming this is cr all it is what nah dog just 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 
Cody's Cody need to go on ahead and wrestle Seth, bro. This is ridiculous at this point. We got Hollywood Rock back, man. Salute.